morning boys and girls welcome to another new day i'm happy to have you in my online class this morning today we're looking at comprehension in our comprehension class this morning we're going to read a story identify the title and the settings in that story are you ready to roll let's go our learning objectives for this class it's for you to identify the title and setting in the story, read the story independently if you can, and then answer the questions from the passage. Now let's go. Before we start off with this class, I would like us to recall what a setting is. Remember we've discussed setting in a class, right? So what is a setting? Yes. A setting is where a story takes place. For example, a kitchen in the story about Mrs. Large and her children and the tiger that came to tea. Do you remember those stories? So anywhere a story takes place is what we refer to as the setting. Meanwhile, in some stories you can have more than one setting. So as you read through any story, try to identify the settings. Okay. Now let's read through this story. Remember to identify the setting and title of the story. And then when answering the questions, remember to start the sentence with a capital letter and end with a full stop. Our story is about Prince Cinders. Prince Cinders was not much of a prince. He lived a hard life, bullied by his three big brothers who left him to do the cleaning while they went out a lot. He wished he was like his brothers. One Saturday, sorry, one Saturday night, as Cinders was cleaning, a small fairy turned up and promised that his wishes will come true. Before we go on to the questions, I would like you to go back to the last slide and try and read that story on your own, independently. I've read it the first time and I'm sure you followed while I was reading. So try and do a little reading on your own to be sure you can read it up yourself. After that, you come back to the question section. Now, I want to believe that you were able to read it to a certain level. Whatever feedback you have, you can send to me through the class dojo. Now, let's go on with the questions. The first question, how many brothers does Prince Cinders have? Where did Prince Cinders' brothers go? Choose some words to describe Prince Cinders. You remember when we talked about adjectives, words we use in describing so give me a few words to describe Prince Cinders. Which fairy tale is this story like? Why do you think so? What's the title of this story? And what is the setting? Do this and give me a feedback on the class, do you? All right, to wrap up this class, I want you to tell me one or two lessons you've learned from this story. All right, well, I learned that we need to be good to people around us, always be nice and helpful. And secondly, we have to help out with chairs at home. Don't leave the house chairs to one person. Don't leave it for mommy alone to do, okay? Try and do your own quarter, all right? Help out with chores at home. Okay, that will be the end of our class for today. Stay well, stay blessed, and stay safe. I'll connect with you again tomorrow. Bye.